the pen tool uh, located right here is probably one of the first tools that you'll begin to be begin using. You can change it, uh, the pen tool to be any different color. Um, I'm just going to leave it uh, blue in this case. And if you've noticed here, there are actually four different presets. For example, if I choose this one, it's a very thin pen tool line. If I go one up, you can see that it's a little thicker. One more up, and it's a little bit more thicker. And then finally, this one is a little more thicker. These are the three, these are the four presets that you'll probably most commonly use at the board. But what you can also do is drag out this slider and it will tell you the font size here that this is, for instance, 50. And if you go up to, if you hover here, it'll say 100. This is the font size of 100. So what you can see here is that you have an entire range of uh, pen widths that you can use. And even um, right here, you can actually see that uh, there is a little selector um, around the pen tool that will show you exactly how wide the line is. Now what I've done here is I've made a mess of my page. Um, there's different strategies to deal with this. I will just teach you two here to begin with. Number one, I can review this and I can use the select tool and I can highlight all of the different pen strokes. I don't need to highlight all of them, I just need to touch them all at some point. And you can see that they've all been selected. Um, then what you can do is you can actually just move your cursor tool down to the trash and click it and all of the pen tools will go away. Now, uh, I'm just going to redo it a different way. So instead of uh, redoing the lines, I'm just going to have to um, select this menu here from, or this option, this button from the toolbar, which says undo delete objects. This is one of the most commonly used tools I use. I actually can just do undo and all of them will come right back. So anything you delete, you can go back to undo and it will rebuild the page to where you just had it. I can also select all of the objects here and I can actually just hit this button which is a delete button. So some people don't like to have the trash located down here. Uh, because it gets in their way and they like to have it more simplified. So I made sure that there was a button on the toolbar that just had that and provided the same function. Okay, I'm going to hit undo one more time. And anytime you use the pen tool, they are actually called annotations. And annotations are basically anything you do with the pen tool on the board. They're like the things that you would wipe off of your transparencies back in the day. Okay? Um, and one more tool that you can go to is you can hover over these different tools, and there's one that looks like a spray bottle, which is called the clear tool. What's great about this one is it basically does what your spray bottle ought to do. It gives you a bunch of different options here. There's clear annotations. So if I wanted to clear these annotations right here, then I would hit clear annotations. If I wanted to clear objects, like this picture of a computer, I could do that. If I wanted to clear a grid, a background, or the entire page, I could choose those. But the great thing here is I can just select clear annotations, and all the annotations go away. And I'm left with my page objects but not the annotations. So those are a couple different ways to get rid of objects and also highlighting a couple tools like the undo button, the delete button, and finally the clear tool.